What's up guys? Big D Wiz back once again. OldSchoolStereo.com back with another of the Chinese Amp Invasion Mini Amp. The Lapai LP V3. This miniature amplifier promises 700 watts of maximum power with 25 watts RMS. In size, it's actually identical to the earlier model that I tested, the LP2020A+. So, can this LP V3 beat out the LP2020A+. Well, just watch and let's find out. Alright, old school fans, the sound quality demonstration of the Lapai LP V3. 700 watt max music power 25 watt RMS this amplifier is used Bose Power IC let's see how good it sounds cue it up Big D This time for the sound demo, I actually used my uh, Zoom H4 recorder to get better quality sound so you could maybe hear what I hear a little bit better. But I'll be real honest with you, this LPV3 reminds me a lot of actually of the Kenter MA150 as far as output power. It does not seem as powerful as the LP2020A+. So next, let's throw it on the test bench and see what kind of output power we can get out of it. So stay tuned. All right, I have the Lapai LPV3 here set up for the unloaded voltage output using the SMD DD1 to detect distortion and the Valaymon HPS50 to monitor the voltage output because it has a true RMS voltmeter. And I'm using the SMD um, 0 dB 101 kilohertz test tone from the iPod going into my receiver here and coming out through RCAs going straight into the little LPV3. So let's see what kind of voltage we get out of the speaker terminals. Unloaded voltage output. All right, here we go with the unloaded voltage output test. First at one kilohertz detect. It's like 4.43 volts. Okay, and here's the 8 ohm resistive load test. Both channels driven, 1 kilohertz test tone. There, the SMD detects the 1 kilohertz. Slight distortion at 2.11, so we'll go. Well, it's clean. 2.0. All right, we have the resistive load configured for 4 ohms, and we're going to do the 1 kilohertz test of RMS output power from the LaPi LPV3. There's to 1 kilohertz detect. See the distortion light has come on, on the detector. Looks like 3.6, we'll call 3.59, 3.6 watts at 4 ohms. Alright, next up is the 2 ohm resistive load test. Both channels connected to a 2 ohm resistive load, and we have the 1 kilohertz test tone. And here we go. Watch the SMD DD1, detects the signal, 1 kilohertz detect. If 
5.3. Nope, 5.152. We'll go with 5.1. All right, and here we go with the peak power output. This is the max power output at 2 ohms. 1 kilohertz test tone, both channels driven. Alright, looks like right at 11 watts, but I'm going to go ahead and keep cranking it and just see when it runs out of juice. Looks like the 11.9 was the highest we are able to get. Well guys, there you go. The RMS and peak power output test of the Lapai LP V3. Now we knew the 700 watts max music power was a ridiculous statement on the amplifier. No way it would get near that. But we, one would think that the 25 watt RMS would be an accurate rating at 0.1% THD. Well, my ratings are at 1% THD and I didn't get anywhere near that, even the 25 watts. This amp is on the level playing field with the MA150, which is an anemic amp. So this is uh, another amp to put at the bottom of the list. I would put this one right down with the MA150 as far as power output and sound quality. So as it stands right now, the LP2020A Plus is the leader in the Chinese mini amp invasion. Stay tuned, we have more amps to test. This is Big D Wiz. I'm out of here.